Now, something that I only found out about halfway through me having this mod is I sort of had an epiphany, you know, the old touch the statue and some hidden door shit will open. I was right. Here we have it. Which is cool. Let's close this thing back up. Now, right or left? Right or left? Let's go with left first. Here we have a teleporting device. Here is where you can teleport to places, and this little thing here me is um, means that you can teleport to your base when you're outside in the waste. So say you're up at um, Republic of Dave, all the way up in the top right hand corner. You can use this and you can get all the way back here. You can also use this thing to te teleport places as well. So that's a nice little feature. Close this thing back up. Now in here is, I'd say, maybe one of the coolest rooms. I, I don't know. This, this thing is very cool. Here, I'll just leave that open so I can get a light. Basically here, we have a defense mechanism. This, I'm not, you remember all that stuff I told you to ignore outside? This is how you set it all up. Now these do cost quite a lot of caps and you can upgrade things. But I, I, I have enough caps to spare. And so yeah, so I've got all that maxed out. And we'll go have a look at that later. And we can add junk outside the entrance, which I didn't want to do because it just looks weird. And also, basically, you, you build up a defense outside your base. And what's that for is you can, you can have enemy spawns right outside your base so you could like train for battle and stuff so enable attacks and you make them easy medium or hard and they attack every one to three days again i will have a, i'll show you that stuff later now here we have initiate lockdown which i shall show you later which is actually what i think may open that little thing for getting the two hidden guns there we are so that's a nice little thing right there close this thing up Let's go through this door to the armory and the display area. Now through here, let's go door number one. Here we have a very very nicely designed display room which you can put a whole bunch of stuff. Which is really nice. Here, which I think is really cool, is you can activate, well not sorry, that's just me reading what I can see. That is it, where you can dress these mannequins in all your favourite armours. So if you want a specific armour, you can dress up one of the mannequins and, you know, pick everything up from that one mannequin and be ready to go. Now, let, let's say your character's a girl. I know that's quite a lot of people like to have their characters as girls. These are all men, so what you do is you talk. Well, you don't actually talk, and what you do is you change to female. It'll go away for a bit. And I... There we go female mannequin. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then obviously you go into that menu so you can equip things, unequip things, dress, stuff like that. And yes, that's pretty much it. We have tons of them, which is really cool. Uh, as far as I know, it's just another thing. I'm not sure if there's anything secret here. I haven't had a good look at what's in here but yeah so you can drink from that anyway yeah, so it was, that's the mannequin room well, I'm, I've got into the habit of checking all these stone heads now you know never know which one will activate something anyway um, not sure if there's anything behind this painting here well, not painting poster y you guys get what I mean Yes, let's go in here. Here is the armory. Here we have... The, the, this is all my ammo. This does not come with the mod. This, this is all the ammo that I had in my inventory, which has been sorted out conveniently using the smart sorting system thing. Oh, c crap. Oh, well, doesn't really matter. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we have basically a space for every ammo. And here, we have, I will go into the stuff above here, uh, through in the other area. But he, what's important in, on this terminal is there's an ammo press. 
Now there's instructions, and basically you, you, you can use this thing. What you do is you put scraps in the in this thing here, and it will change it into ammo, basically. And you can make custom ammo and stuff like that, and it's really cool. Open and close this gate. Nice little feature. Here we have a workbench and a tool cabinet as well. Nice stuff. Here we have boxes for all of the materials you need for a bottle cap mine, dart gun materials, stuff like that. Also, uh, you can also activate the sorter as well if you don't want to manually put the stuff in, which is nice. Here we have a weapon sorter. Again, self explanatory, you click that switch and then do it so it sorts it all out for you. Same thing here, it'll put your stuff in there if you don't want to display it on the shelves. And same thing here for clothing. Now, on the walls, basically, you can. Th these are spaces to display your lovely weapons, which I think is a nice feature. And over here as well, point lookout weapons, Zeta weapons broken steel weapons, anchorage weapons, and weapons, 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 weapons. Here we have a spot for the T-51B power armor stand, which is nice. Nice little display thing. Now, um, this is another radio system thing. Now, down here, hatch to the simulation room. Dun dun dun. Let's go in here. Here we have a simulation pod, and no, this does not lead you to Anchorage, Operation Anchorage, it leads you in something a lot more cool. So what you do is you turn on the power, oh, crap, I think I just turned it off. Turn on the power, sorry, go to the simulation mainframe. Let it load up, and enable sim pod. And where it says log entry I will get into in a minute and same with the open reactor door I will get into in a minute. Right. So basically this activates a simulation pod so let's um, let's get into one of those. Let's take one of the neural interface suits from these handy little cabinets. Let's stick it on. Looking lovely. Get to sit in the chair. Now it says that it will store it in the item storage bay. Which is cool. Now basically, you get the same thing as from Operation Anchorage. Blah 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 blah. This sci fi thing stuff. Basically, this leads you to. I'm not sure what this is actually called. I just call it the training area. Basically, you have a nice little training area here. You can do outdoor training. I'll show a few of these. And you're greeted with a VR terminal. So let's go into this. Options. Rough terrain, which is already on. Weapons. Let's get ourselves a fat man. And let's get some ammo for the fat man. And armor, I don't really care about, there isn't any anyway, because this thing isn't actually finished quite yet, but it will be soon. So here you can, um, you can activate a whole bunch of, you can activate a whole bunch of, um, enemy spawns, so I'm just going to click on a bunch of these. Well, let's do this. Oh hell no, I'm stuck. And here we have a whole bunch of enemy spawns. Basically, they're just fighting each other because they are enemies of enemies, basically. So yeah, so that's that stuff. Let's go back into the neural interface system thing. And yeah, so that's that. Let's exit here. Let's go into the indoor training. Oh no. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is pretty much the same thing, but indoor, obviously. Rifle range, self-explanatory. Do all that. Fire some stuff down there. 
So that's pretty cool. Let's come out here. Pistol range. Again, pretty much the same thing. And explosives range again. Pretty much the same thing. I think I need to equip this one though. Yep, yeah, that's the one, and just, you know, do what you need to do. Yep, that's that, that's the training room, which I thought was a really, really nice ad. Now, go to the exit. I really can't bother picking up my, fine, you know what, actually I will pick up my gear, change my mind. God, this is going to take a while. Sorry, guys. You're not screwed. Take all. Okay. Let's close this thing back up. Disable SIM port. Now, if you go into the log entry, it will say, after digging into some stuff, this, this is some, like, story which the modder put a lot of detail into. And 6289, that's what I'm going to concentrate on. 6289. Basically, let's open the reactor door. Let's just activate God mode real quick. Basically, six, two, eight, nine. So, let's enter this in. See what it does. Six, two, eight, nine. And what do you know? You get bathed in radiation. What a wonderful day. This does it this is not killing me because I have got God mode on. And basically if you want everything back to hunky doriness, just enable the containment field and we're all good. And we can exit happily. Let's just close this up real quick. And so yes. That's that. Again, lights and shit. Okay, let's go back up. 